Sorry, so the question was, what advice would we give for young black writers who are trying to emerge in the field? And you know, I, I, the way that I would approach it, just to say, like, everyone's path is very different, and there's no sort of set thing. I would say, just to give you a little bit of my own background, I was very lucky, right? You know, it's like, there's a combination of really having this intense drive to write a story, um, but then also being around the right people. You know, I had Jamaica Kincaid as one of my, as my thesis advisor, and without her, yeah, and it was pretty, <laughs> pretty lucky. Um, so that, you know, but that, the, hmm? Is she here? Oh, no. at, at this, at this She's at the festival? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. word? I didn't even know. <laughs> Oh, she's going to be right here. That's yeah. so funny, because she was actually in New York last week, and I didn't get to see her because I wasn't in New York, so maybe I'll hang around. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm actually, like, eternally grateful to her, because the year that I spent working with her was such a powerful thing. Um, my first book, Beast of No Nation, was written under her supervision and with her guidance. And, you know, after working with someone like her for a year and then having her personally introduce me to her agents, that essentially changed the trajectory of my whole life and that's the reason like I've been able to write other books or you know have been able to write film and whatnot it's all because somebody said let me take you by the hand and help you and I think the truth is that for most people who write, we don't see it in other communities as much because people will you know say that they I don't know were just brilliant and somehow some way got an agent or a publisher or whatever but the vast majority of people in this space have somebody who does guide them and take them and say, you know, here, here you go, like, I believe in you or I believe in this person, read. Most agents will not take unsolicited manuscripts, mm -hmm. you know, and so I think that's, there is a, there's like a, just a barrier to entry. So I think the first thing before, that's just to lay the groundwork, right? But before you even get to that, it's like, do you have something that you really, really want to write about, right? And are you ready to, to be extremely miserable for a very long period of time <laughs> while you are writing about this thing because the, like, unless you 100% believe in the work that you are writing in and recognize that completing it on its own is in and of itself like a feat and something to be applauded, then the rest of it, like, I don't, you know, like, you have to let, let the rest of it do what it does because the truth is, I mean, my first book got rejected by every single publisher except for one person who was like, well, I don't have to spend that much money on it, so maybe we'll try it. Do you know what I mean? And then everything happened. So it's, it's, that's, you know, it's like, it's believe in the work that you're writing and make sure that you're ready to sit down and finish a project from beginning to end. And then the rest is about, it really is about like, do you have mentors? Can you put yourself in the right places? I don't want to sound too harsh, yeah, but I just want to be realistic yeah, about yeah, something. No, you're right. I, I, I teach creative writing, and it's, it's kind of sometimes saddening to see that, you know, I'm the only black person sometimes in the room, and there aren't that many young, aspiring, you know, black writers in the MFA programs. And, but to, to go back to advice, you know, what would I tell if I had, like, a young black person in my workshop? What would I tell them? The thing is to realize that you want to be a writer just like any other person in the room. Um, not to start thinking, not to start from the point of thinking that you are a black writer first. You're just a writer, you want to be a writer, you have to be as good as any other writer in the room. Um, there's this imagery um, by E.M. Foster, the British author, um, he has a book called Aspects of the Novel, and there's this description that he gives of, of a room full of writers writing at the same time, writers from different generations, some of them dead and all that, but imagine if they were all here in this room together. You have Shakespeare writing next to Henry James, writing next to, you know, Faulkner and all that, all of them. They are all staring at this blank piece of paper, and all they have to do is to write a story. It doesn't matter from what generation, what color. So they all have to be good at their craft. Start from there. Then the next thing, of course, is also to understand that you are black <laughs> and a black writer, and you have a tradition. So you have to master that tradition. You have to read all the important books written by black writers from your culture, from your tradition. Then from there, you can go on. Yeah. 
Both of those are great. I don't have anything to really, really add to either of those. Craft is important, and then, of course, mentorship for me.